Hi everyone, my name is Proof Silko. welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will go through my 10 tips list regarding PUBG on PS4 and Xbox. These tips will probably save your life in most of the cases and I'm pretty sure regardless of your skill level you haven't heard about all of them. So today we will go through this list and if you stick around till the end of this video I have a short myth busting episode for you where I will test if you can run faster if your weapon is holstered. Ever since I put this tip in one of my videos I got a lot of comments from viewers claiming that you can run with the same speed if your sidearm is equipped. So today we're gonna test this as well. So be sure to stick around until the end of this video. But before we start, if you're new here and you wanna learn more about PUBG on PS4 and Xbox, stay up to date with all the related news and patches or just watch my live streams, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Alright, so with that being said, let's get into the tips. Coming up at number one, I already mentioned that you can change the color of your radicals by going ADS and pushing up and down on the d-pad but I haven't mentioned before that you can also change the brightness of it which will be pretty useful now that the night mode is coming for weekendy so you can adjust your sight's brightness according to it. Now if you're a PS4 player hold L2 and R1 together and pull the left stick back and forth and with that you can change the brightness of your radical and this can also be done with the 2x and 3x scopes as well. If you're playing on Xbox, you have to hold the LT, RB buttons and pull the left stick back and forth. Alright, so the second tip is actually from one of my viewers, Indigo Stickman. And this tip is pretty useful in squads, duos and solo modes as well. I call it soft marking because it's similar to the normal marks on the map but you can use it without actually opening it. Just look at a certain direction and click the right stick. And with that you can put a soft mark on your compass which is visible for all of your teammates. This can be useful for callouts. You can just click the right stick and you can easily call your enemies out. Or you can use it to mark the airdrops as well. As soon as the care package is out from the plane, just click the right stick, open up your minimap and try to align your normal marker with it. And you can use that to track the care packages down, even in longer ranges. The soft mark will disappear after a few seconds. So if you want to use it for a longer time, make sure to click the right stick again from time to time to keep it on your compass or just place a normal marker on your minimap as I just showed you. <laughs> Alright, the third tip is pretty useful in my opinion and it can save your life in most of the cases. When you hit someone with your sniper rifle, regardless of their armor, they will be pretty low on health, so you can easily finish the kill by switching to your secondary weapon, or even to your sidearm. It will just take a couple extra shots, and you can secure the kill like this pretty easily. The next tip is in close connection with my aiming tips video. If your enemy is extremely close, you don't have to use any type of aiming, just use hip fire, and with that you can run a little bit faster, so it will be much harder for your enemy to hit you. And since your enemy is pretty close to you, you don't have to worry about the recoil at all. I found this tip pretty useful in all the extreme CQC fights. <laughs> Tip number 5 can also be a lifesaver. If you're driving to a compound, make sure you park your vehicle facing away from the building. So in case you have to leave the area immediately, you don't have to worry about turning back with your car. You can just jump right into it and hit the gas. Tip number 6 is also in connection with vehicles. I think we already know that if you hit a wall with your vehicle you can take significant damage or even blow up but if you use the side of your car you will take absolutely no damage so you can use this tip if you want to push a building and be by its walls as fast as possible. And one more tip for vehicles but this is a hidden one or the four wheeled vehicles like the UAZ for example have turbo in them but the hidden part is that all the actual vehicles in the game are all equipped with turbo so take the boat for example i was driving with it and i was switching between turbo and normal modes and you can see the differences in the speed in the bottom left corner so don't forget to use the turbo regardless of the vehicle you're currently in tip number eight is mostly for beginners the grass won't render after 50 meters from your character, so going prone in the middle of the field is probably not the best idea ever, since all the enemies who are further away from you than 50 meters will be able to see you clearly, as you can see it on the image in the background. As I was using my scope to scan through the area around me, you can see clearly which area was rendered with grass and which wasn't, so don't forget to use a hardcover whenever you want to lay down on the ground. 
All right, so tip number nine is for my advanced players. If you want to be a hard target for your opponents, you have to move constantly. I found that it's much better to move in small circles than moving from side to side because you will be moving much faster if you're moving in circles. Therefore, it will be much harder for your enemies to hit you. It took me a lot of time to figure this one out and I was always surprised how my enemies can move with such speed. But now I know it, guys, so I wanted to let you know as well. And the last tip is also for my advanced players. You don't have to see the full body of your opponent to hit them. You can shoot through the gaps. Or if there's no gap at all, you can create your own by shooting a hole in the door. So remember guys to use whatever opportunity you have to kill your opponents. Alright, so let's see the myth busting episode. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, some of you said that if your weapon is holstered, you can run with the same speed than if you're holding your sidearm. So I used auto running with empty hands, with my sidearm and with an AR in my hands and ran towards this 50 meter sign to see how can I reach it faster. I put all the images next to each other to see it better, but as you can see it guys, it's still the fastest way if you're empty handed, but you can still run a little bit faster if your sidearm is in your hands. And of course it's a much safer option, but if you wanna make your way to the next safe zone as fast as possible, make sure you don't have anything in your hands. Alright, so that was all I had for you today guys, but before we leave, I want to say thank you very much for the support on my live streams. A special thanks to Vance TV, Bratz Gaming, Mason Lee, Ben Senovac, Goran Klitsch and Vicky Cool for their kind donations. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, subscribe if you're new here and I see you in the next video. Bye!